today is Friday, May 6th. It is seven o'clock. Um, this is the most requested video that I have. So it's finally here, y'all. Thank you for waiting. <laughs> If you're new here, my name is Ladeja. I am a first uh, grade teacher in HISD. Like today is head day, so um, today is the last day of Teacher Appreciation Week. So for um, in my school, um, our PTO decided to have like different um, different ways we should dress up all week. So like Monday was nothing. They just bought us breakfast. Um, Tuesday was red, black, and no, red, red, white, and blue. Okay. Morning brain. <laughs> red, white, and blue day because uh, we were supposed to vote on our favorite teacher. Uh, Wednesday was a um, wacky day, and like only like five of us dressed up. <laughs> um, to, you know, yesterday, yesterday, Thursday was um decades day so 70s 80s or 90s and if you follow me on um instagram or snapchat whatever then you already seen this stuff um but yeah i did 90s because i'm a 90s baby and then um today's hat day so last night i went to my first um astros game with my husband and um y'all it was fun um little background info i played softball when um like all my life from five to 18. um so yeah so i just like softball baseball everything so it was really fun and um i remember i remember that today is hat day i don't wear hats i usually don't wear hats um i don't know i just don't really care for how they look on my head but i bought well yeah, I got this uh, hat last night, and then I got this shirt too because I did not have an Astros shirt. So that's that. But anyways, let's get to what you clicked on this video for. So, um, I kept saying like y'all was gonna clean up, clean up, do this, do that. But then I was like, you know what? It's the end of the year. And I don't know, because I have not searched like teacher videos in, since before I became a teacher, but I'm gonna give y'all the real uncut, true version of what a classroom looks like at the end of the year. Um, you know, for those of who, um, those of us who don't teach and may not know, your room is not gonna be the same um, as when it started. So, um, Again, I'm sorry I could not get y'all the um, room before um, school started, but this is how it looks now. Um, so I have not cleaned up anything. Um, well, I'm, I'm lying. I cleaned up my desk area and stuff like that um, when I came back. But besides that, I really haven't done anything. And as time went on, I was just thinking like, I'm not gonna clean up anything. I'm gonna let you see like, exactly what it looks like so things don't look like what i put them as but i'm gonna show you so here we go all right so here's my door i'm not gonna show you this poster um it's just about um how we're supposed to be how the students are supposed to act during school because it has my school name on it but anyways so <sighs> This said, before I left, I promise this looked very good. It said, go for the go. But as you know, I have first graders and they're six, seven. Like, <laughs> they tear up stuff, okay? When there's no um, structure in the room. So, when I came back, this is exactly how it has looked. Um, I had some paws on here. So, let me see if I can find one. This is for our... Um, snapshots so our district test all right so every student is supposed to make a goal we have these um pause and so each student has a number and then they make their goal okay so i write the goal for reading and math we have two different colors green and yellow i write their goal in a pile if they reach that goal for that 
um, snapshot, the district test, then I mark it in. As you can see, the student did not meet a goal, but that does not mean that they didn't score good because look at the, the goal numbers, right? They're pretty high. But anyways, so yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know. That's why the tape is out here. So I had reading right there and then math was right here and then everyone's um, paws were on it. It looked really cute, but as you know, like they come over here and they mess with the door and yeah so let's move on um i bought this from walmart this one was in the closet um so this one is usually by my desk um i'll leave it here in the morning for them when they throw away their um breakfast but after that um i put it over by my desk after it's cleaned out um so here we go. All right, so this was a school thing, right? They wanted us to use these. So I have every kid's name right there. And then they're supposed to move up and down. I really didn't use it. Um, it's just too hard. Um, the kids don't see it, so it it doesn't help like with behavior. Um, here's my word wall. I was so impressed with my word wall this year. I really liked it, okay? like. It was really cute but as you can see some of my letters are falling some of my words are coming off but and at the top you can see how organized and neat it was right so i had these these are um these little ones are our high frequency words so those went up first and then our um admin made us these um vocabulary cards and so we just had to cut them and print them out and they're laminated and everything so they get used multiple years okay um moving on i have classroom jobs everyone in my class um we go by numbers so instead of putting their names up there's their numbers now i'm putting my hand right here because my students names are on those popsicle sticks so this little chart thing all their names are under home because they're at home right now and then when they get here they move it to the school side okay that was a school thing they wanted us to do they supplied us with the home in school and the um pocket chart and then however we wanted to put the students names that's how we did it i used popsicle sticks because i had green and blue and so it matched with my room theme okay and then let me move on so i can put my hand down <laughs> so um this little theme that you see like this stuff like i bought i bought that off of um tpt and i printed out everything y'all everything like all the letters the numbers the jobs all that i printed it out laminated it and cut them so um the tpt thing was really cheap too I, it couldn't have been no more than 20 dollars so if you are looking for alternative ways on how to decorate your room that is one all right so um anyways i have the word wall this table right here it had my pencil sharpener there when i came back they broke my pencil sharpener so it's not there anymore i had the pencils over here and then these this little stuff is for our um workstations our reading workstations as you know or some of you may know um i'm not good at workstations so uh, it's a work in progress <laughs> um they made me welcome signs when i came back welcome back miss isom so some of those have their names on them so i'm not gonna show too much of it but our writing wall so each every two weeks we have to update our writing wall and um if it's not spelled correctly if it's not written you know grammar grammar correct if if it, it has to be 100 percent correct as far as um writing goes anyway um it to be make the board if it's not correct then it can't make the board and that's per um admin rules all my letters i made i cut them out on my cricut all i did was buy the colors right and i just cut it out on my cricut real easy i don't have to worry about um running out of letters if i buy the letters from the store or anything like that so and i can make it however big i want however small i want and the front so that's that so all of these anchor charts are 
with our writing our wow work um i usually update that maybe <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, like once a month. So when I came back, I took it down. I took the work, uh, writing off too and gave it to him, told him to take it home. We have not done anything yet to make the wow board. Um, this was going to be my bookshelf, but y'all have not gotten have not gotten books right. Have not gotten any books <laughs> for my library. So, um, these were some books that I got from last year. And then I bought these bins from Lakeshore. And my rug, it was right here. Um, I think this rug is old, maybe. I don't know. Maybe I bought it. It's black and white, so it matched my room. Um, but, yeah, it was on the floor. And, I don't know. Like, I didn't really care to pick it up because that was for the library. But... It never became a library, so maybe, maybe better luck next year. Um, when I came back, I missed the plants. Um, <laughs> the plant of uh, life cycle thing, um, lessons and stuff. But this plant was growing, so I had made it our class uh, plant because um, whoever it was um, didn't want to take it home, so it was growing. Um, I just didn't get to get it on camera. All right, so moving on, I made all of this over here. As you can see, it shows the neighborhood and people are walking through every day. So I decided to make it like a wall, just anchor charts. So we have social studies, science, math, and reading and as you can see this one has been up for a long time and now it's kind of losing its grip but um yeah so i've taken most of the math stuff down this one has been up for a while because the sun has faded those words i can't even tell you what they used to say this one has i made that one before i left too but um it was over here on the TV thing, the TV thing. So it didn't get faded as much yet. And then we just went over time. But yeah, so I put up our vocabulary words and then any anchor charts we make and I put it over there. This is how I want it. I didn't want to um, pull the shades all the way down. Some teachers pulled their shades all the way down, but that just makes the room too dark for me. So I didn't mind. I just put it halfway and then we'll just, you know, use it as use the windows as a wall all right so this is the um kidney table where i do my um small groups mainly guided reading as you can see i am doing our uh running records right now so um i'm closing this because it has my students names in it but this is our guided reading binder so um that's it's just how we track when we are doing um our guided reading and different things activities that we're supposed to do and i promise i will make a video about this um later on because i really don't have my systems down and um i've been asking for help so when once i get my help and I get it and you know and I perfect it then I will make a video about that um here's some books that um has the activities and like directions that we're supposed to be using I, th I know for a fact this one does um it's like different activities in there I'll just show you one there like that um and that is like what um HISD uses to plan um your lesson for your guided reading so we have to um familiarize ourselves with those uh activities so that's why these books are there um i do use this little whiteboard uh i got this from um one of my uh i didn't get this timer from i got this timer um actually from Okay, I got this timer from um, uh, admin here. Someone gave it to me. But this little whiteboard, I got it from another teacher at um, my, uh, my old school. She didn't want it, and so I 
I'm like, yeah, I'll take it. And um, it's kind of broke, but you know. And so I leave, I put, you know, these were the things I was using for math. Um, so I had them over here. Um, this is my little Cricut cutter, just a convenient spot. Um, that's an anchor chart for making imprints, which is actually over there on the board right now. Um, but yeah, so um, these are, this is my, well, one of my ticket jars. Um, it's dealing with behavior management. This was the chocolate jar. I need to refill it. And just the sweet candy jar. Um, but yeah, so I need to, um, I'm going to make a, a video about that um, and go into more detail, but that'll be later on. Um, those are some of the reading books that we use um, for guided reading at my table. Um, this is our center's um, wall. So when we were going, um, when we were learning centers, um, HISD has this um, 25 days of reading and math. And so it's like introducing them into workstations and what they need to do, the rules and everything. So I put it over here on my center's board. Um, I have the alphabet at the top. Um, Y'all saw this board before. So we have our teaks, our objective, the vocabulary for the unit, and then the exit ticket. And I need to put up our social studies for today. Um, we only do social studies on Fridays, so. And I ran out of time yesterday, so I forgot that. Um, don't mind that, that's just something that I need to be doing. <laughs> so it's just a spot for the reminder. Uh, provided for us from admin so it has a lot of little things in here um so you're supposed to it's supposed to be with behavior management and get you to not talk basically so to get them to stop doing whatever they're doing without you having to talk um i was using it before i left and it actually worked good so it's a lot of little things in here that you can use um, all you do is just flip the cards. So, yeah, it's a lot of new things in here. All right. And I'm so happy about this bo uh, smart board thing. Um, it was brand new when I got it. So, I was the first one to use it. And Clever Touch is so nice, y'all. I love it. Instead of using the whiteboard that you got to erase and hope doesn't you know when the marker stains the board and all that yeah um i need to change the date and fix the calendar but like i said today's friday so that's my calendar stuff and i have my um i have this thing on it so that's why but yeah right and then this board doesn't even work i'm not gonna go up any higher because this is a school um uh, this is a school um poster but um this board doesn't work. They like need to take it out because there's a lot of space. And when I was doing all my bulletin boards, it was so hard to get around this. Like I actually had to cut and work around it. Like you can see, like, you know, you can see that. Like I was working hard, right? It took a long time to do it. I got my paper and my border from Lakeshore. All right, so y'all have seen this little board my paper is falling down y'all we got four more weeks i don't care anymore um i'm pretty sure a lot of teachers i'm not gonna say all but i'm sure i'm not the only teacher that feels like this you know like it is what it is at this point i'm here i'm teaching i'm doing my job who cares about what the classroom looks like right so yeah so we had to do a college board it could have been any college they just wanted um our students to be able to see um you know like be encouraged to go to college so i just did my college because why not shout out to state and then um this is my little area so first this is my treasure box if you're og this is not new you know i got my little goodies in here um i put the food over here just so you know <laughs> um i had these little things um positioned over there by the um 
my library, but uh, it was a lot of stuff over there, so I just moved it when I got back. This is all my copies. Um, so for like a week or two in advance. So everything that I need to pass out, whatever we're gonna do, whatever worksheets we're gonna do, are in here. All right, I bought a printer earlier um, at the beginning of the year. Y'all already saw that. If you're OG, come on, y'all, be OGs, okay? Um, and then we all seen my laminator. Well, maybe not if you're new, but yeah. All right, so these are just more posters that I ran out of space and didn't have anywhere to put them. Y'all, my desk is kind of like I could just like put that up but um i bought this because the desk is really ugly <laughs> and i have some things under here so like paper and stuff just little supplies that i can put under there that's all of my kids drawings they give me up here we have um just the number um wall i'm going to erase this information over here um in just a second but well really i don't have to this is just um like if you can kind of see that um it's the goal so i have the letters for each level um and then i just write their names on what uh reading level they are but i bought that from tpt as well y'all if i buy it off of tpt it's like no more than like ten dollars so it was really cheap um and then that's the birthday wall i'm not gonna i'm gonna keep that blurred <laughs> like how it's looking right now because you know of course names um so this right here our data wall is like something that the um admin wanted us to do so here we do um in progress approaches meets and masters so this is a school-wide thing so in progress um so first our data wall is for when we take our district test remember i showed you those paws that went on the door well this is pretty much the same thing so they the goals were on the door and then this is what we actually made so their numbers on there so that's each student number so this information is old that's from december snapshot so i have not updated it we just took a snapshot last week so i should update this um pretty soon but um in progress means like 60 and below approaches is like 60 to 70 meets is 70 to like um 80 maybe 85 and then masters is to 100 so the goal for if for the whole school is meets and masters um but i like i told y'all in the previous video i have the ma meet i mean i have the masters class so it's um you know everyone is supposed to be up there essentially um or trying to get up there so like at least meets well this last snapshot y'all they did very good and i would say maybe only two people are on approaches and that's for like each subject so they did very good um so everyone got meets and ma or masters pretty much this right here is something that they were trying to get us to do before i left and um i have not done it i have not implemented this in my lesson so like they want they want this part um for they want you to fill out like what they need as far as exit tickets go so you're supposed to put like pictures up here so if you know since we are a lower class a uh, lower grade level pictures work better than words for them so like what do you need and then just put the pictures right there um what are they supposed to do like it's supposed to be more pictures than words but you can put um a couple words in there um where where should they put it when they're done and then once they're done what do you want them to do okay and that's supposed to be for reading and math um i just feel like it's very time consuming um i'm not used to doing it so i'll always forget and i explain my directions um to them when i am giving them their exit ticket so i tell them everything they need to know so i feel like this is just like 
um what's the word i'm looking for all right so this right here is the calm corner y'all it was so cute i mean look at these letters tpt this whole little package is from tpt um literally probably was like seven or eight dollars this whole little packet thing tpt all of this tpt all you gotta do buy it print it laminate it cut it that's exactly what i did and it's so cute right look at the letters it's so cute um but y'all look at how they the missed my stuff up look at this so you're supposed to pull these numbers off and put them in order down here because take five deep breaths. So as you do it, you put it down here or actually they're supposed to be down here and you put them up here once you've counted. All right. Look at my stuff, y'all. Mm -hmm. That one lasted. <laughs> I don't even know where these are at. So next year, I'm going to have to reprint some stuff because I'm definitely using the same thing because it's really cute. And um, it was actually working. They like would always want to come to the calm corner. I bought this um, off Amazon. This is a bean bag chair. But as you can see, it seems like all the beans are out. <laughs> the beans. The cushion is gone. Like what happened? And this was all white. All right, and I purposely did that. I wanted something that they could color on. So if you don't want to be doing any of this, you can get the markers. And I had this little bin that had markers in it. You can get the markers and you can color because kids like to color. And that can calm you down. And then I cut out, um, I also printed out some puzzles. I laminated them, I cut them out. So you could do puzzles over here um it was different puzzles it was like three different puzzles yeah they just destroyed my stuff <laughs> um which i mean that's what kids do but i mean i'm not mad so i'm a i have more puzzles too i'm i did like five um so i could just use those for next year but all i'm gonna do with this is i'm gonna take this out um the stuff out i'm gonna wash this hopefully it comes out um, cause I think it said it's, um, it, well, it said to use washable, um, markers. Um, so hopefully those markers are washable and I'm gonna wash this. If not, then I'll just buy another one. It really wasn't that much. Probably like $10. Hey y'all. So, um, that is my room tour. Um, I hope, uh, y'all like my room. I like my room. I really like the colors. Y'all know if y'all don't know y'all probably don't my kids know my favorite color is green so that's why i went with the green theme my favorite part of the room has to be the word one like it's so cute or it was <laughs> but yeah um so y'all let me know what else y'all want to see um right down in the comments y'all know i will um i'm here for you I will make a video, whatever you want um, to see. Just let me know down below. Sometimes I run out of ideas, so I really do need y'all to tell me what y'all want, um, what y'all want to see. And thank you for watching my video. If you are not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell so you do know when I post. And I see you in the next one. Um, um, uh, and then my daughter is right here in my chair. Um, your girl's lips be chapped, so I need some Carmex thumbnail. I don't know, maybe I should like sit the camera down and do something. I probably need to. I should have brought my tripod. I don't like cats. 